Hey, this is Derek, and I'd love to demonstrate for you a new feature that Google just dropped in which you can actually record video presentations from within Google Slides. So to demonstrate, I have a short four slide deck on my favorite national parks that, is, that I visited so far. And the first thing I'm gonna come do is come up to this recording tab in the top right. Now, this is currently only available to Google Workspace customers. So if you are a Google Workspace customer, you should notice this recording button. So I'm gonna click that and I have the option to record a new video. I'm gonna click that as well. You may, if this is your first time, you'll have to allow um, your microphone and camera to work. So I'll allow that and dismiss and then I'll allow my cameras as well. And you'll see my video pops up down here in the lower right. So I'm actually gonna turn off um, my other video and go just, just to one. So um, I do, now you see my, my green screen effect is gone. So, you know, I will have my natural background, but I can push this record button, select the slides, allow tab audio if you are embedding any. This slide won't, so I'll, I'll allow it, won't really matter and away we go. So these are my favorite national parks that I visited so far. The first, these aren't in any order of actual ranking, but the first is Sequoia National Park. The nearest city is Visalia, California, and it was established in 1890. An interesting fact, if you have never visited Sequoia, it's actually home to the world's largest tree by volume. It's called the General Sherman Tree. I'm going to go to the next slide, but I want to show a couple features. So you can actually change your picture-in-picture -picture position. So on this next slide, let's say I didn't like my picture being in front of Crater Lake here. I can actually change that position over to the bottom left, the top left, the top right, or the center. Likewise, you can also scale your picture um, smaller and larger. So um, if I, you know, have it at a very small size, if you want it to take up sort of a minimal footprint on your slide, you can shrink it down. You have the medium size, which I was at by default. And then also, you know, if I wanted to make my image larger on screen, I don't know why I would want to do that. But if you would like to do that, you can do so by pushing that large button. I'm still recording. I can turn off my camera. My voice, my audio is still going to be coming through. So I'll, I'll do this next slide without my video. Um, another slide of uh, national park we visited was Glacier National Park. The nearest city is Kalispell, Montana. It was established in 1910, and it is known as the crown of the continent. It's home to more than 700 lakes and more than a million acres. I'll turn the camera back on. You can see that it remembered my last setting. So let's shrink the video size down back to the medium default, and I'll put it, let's go in the lower left-hand corner. Ooh, that's gonna cover some text. Let's actually um, maybe put that in the top right corner for now. So my wife and I last summer visited Acadia National Park in Maine. Um, the nearest town is Bar Harbor. It was established in 1919, and it, it actually is home to the highest elevation point in the eastern United States called Cadillac Mountain. So if you're there during sunrise, you can actually catch one of the first sunrises in the United States. And that's all I have for you. Um, once I click stop, you can see I have the option to re-record. I stumbled a couple times, but I'm okay with that. Or I can save it to Drive. So I'm going to save this to my Drive. It'll um, upload right away, and I'll be able to visit it and share it with whoever needs to see it. So um, just a quick tour of a really cool feature that I think a lot of people are going to use. Uh, and, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by.